so coming up on the last week, right? So, and this can be a bit anxiety provoking for people sometimes because on this regimen that you're on, right, everything is very simple and you know what to eat, right, and there are not any um, landmines for you to explode on. But when you start <coughs> matriculating back into regular food, can we record it? Oh, you're yeah, recording it. Yeah. I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Once you start matriculating back into regular food, this is where people normally trip up as far as, you know, the diet thing goes. Because you go back to eating the way you ate that made you fat. Mm -hmm. So you can't do that. No. So your model, uh, at least the skeleton, is going to be that belly diet, or the belly eating plan. Diet, that's a bad, that's a poor little word. <clears throat> belly eating plan. So no more dieting. We're going to change our lifestyle and change our eating choices for life now, right, rather than dieting anymore so that we maintain long-term health. So you've got that list, right, of uh, the, the, the belly eating plan, and then I've got information on the website also, and, um, uh, and I've got the YouTube videos up, you know, on the supplements and so forth, and this will be up there also, so use those for guidelines. But I'm just going to give you some examples of some of the things that I do, uh, you know, that I, and, and things that I just keep around, right, and some functional things uh, and uh, condiments and that type of thing that you want to add into your, your regimen. And one thing that's really easy to do, breakfast is usually kind of a hard choice for a lot of people because, you know, most people are not, not like myself, and you're not going to fix you a big salad for breakfast, right? So you're wondering you know, what to eat for breakfast. Well, one thing that's very simple, quick, is a smoothie, right? Instead of running out to get a um, Egg McMuffin, right? This is actually quicker and, uh, of course, healthier for you. So uh, the whey protein is the, uh, I think, highest um, quality protein that's out there now, the whey protein, but you definitely want to make sure that you get uh, one that is uh, you know, very high quality and you're looking for this, you know, micro-filtered ion exchange, right, those kind of words. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, so it's just put this in and you can throw it in a piece of uh, fruit, no bananas, right, no white fruit, but dark fruit, right, throw that in. If you use a fiber product, right, you can put that in, of course, that helps add some bulk. But then that's a whole meal, I mean, that, that fills you up. <coughs> Coconut milk is something else that you can put into these to make them really taste good, I mean, something that really tastes good, but it's going, again, going to be very healthy for you. And so, uh, again, changing to this way of eating is not about, you know, eating cardboard, right? Uh, and you can still make your meals very satisfying, very tasty, uh, and still eat very healthful, right? Now, the other thing that you haven't been on because of the diet here, or the, uh, the program, that everybody needs to get on. So your basic supplement list, now that those supplements that you're on now, those are your basic supplements and that you'll need to stay on for, from now on, right? You want to add to that fish oil, right, for lots and lots of reasons. But fish oil is one of the basic building blocks of every cell in your body, right? So every cell in your body, you know, is like a little balloon, right? It has this membrane around it. This ingredient that's in fish oil <coughs> is called DHA. That makes up the cell membrane. And that DHA is basically like the lungs for your cell. Allows it to breathe in and breathe out, right? Depending on the, uh, the solubility of this cell membrane. Now, if you eat what we call bad fats, right, like the fats that are that we call trans fats, hydrogenated fats, you know, or these, uh, if you have too many of these omega-6 fats, that makes this membrane harder, right? And so stuff can't diffuse in very easily, and it can't get out very easily. So that makes for toxicity on the inside here. Right? I mean, think if you were where you you were breathing carbon monoxide all the time, right? You weren't breathing in your body. It'd make your body toxic. Same thing with your cell. Your cell has to breathe in and out. And what allows it to do that well is this DHA that's in fish oil. This Pro Omega is a really good one. You need to get like 2,000 milligrams of DHA a day, right? And, uh, and you don't want to be taking 10 pills. So you want to get something that's very high in DHA. And this Pro Omega is uh, very high in DHA. 
some of these things you guys will probably want to start carrying at the pharmacy, <laughs> right? Some of these products, even the food stuff. Now, <coughs> this, um, let me see, let me pull out my, I think I've told everybody about the um, Miracle Noodles, right? The Miracle Noodles, <coughs> they, you know, look and act like noodles, but they're not noodles. They are a, um, a plant root, and it's all fiber. And it's the type of fiber that doesn't get absorbed. So even though it seems like you're eating pasta, these are zero calories, right? Now, I take them, and you just rinse them, and then they're ready. Uh, I will take those and put them, put on top of them this, these fire-roasted crushed tomatoes, and it is just, I mean, marvelous. And these are really good. These, they're um, organic, and you get them over at Natural Groceries. They're lots and lots of benefits of eating more tomatoes also, right? These lycopenes that are in there, you know, very important for prostate and breast health. So, and then you can, uh, uh, you know, if you're thinking spaghetti, you can throw these grounds in here, and I think everybody knows about the ground, the corn, right? Uh, and it just acts just like ground hamburger. Uh, throw that in also, and you've got you a really good, tasty meal. And these are just some, some ideas. <clears throat> Snack food is very important to always have around. So for the same amount of calories, right, if you spread it out through six sessions of eating a day, same amount of calories, you're going to put on less weight than if you do that, taking all those calories in three meals a day. Because remember, everything depends on how much insulin you're producing. So when you stuff yourself in with a big meal, then you're going to be producing lots of insulin. Whereas if you, so think of, you know, if you start your barbecue and you throw a whole bunch of lot of food on there, you know, and the fire's up there real big, I mean, you can't cook on that, right? You want a slow, right, burning fire there to, uh, for your barbecue. So, so think about that in terms of your own metabolism, right? You don't want to rev it up real high, you know, with uh, lots of insulin. You want to stoke it throughout the day. So always have some snacks with you, right? So these pumpkin seeds, the pistachios, right, are probably the best snack that you could have as far as having antifungals and antioxidants. Get the pistachios, the unshelled uh, pistachios, and that red skin on them, be sure you eat that, right? That's full of antifungals. It's like uh, um, those powerful antifungals that we find in red wine. It also has the antifungals that are in coconut, also has the antifungals that are in the, the red apples, right? Those delicious red apples. It also has the antifungal that's in green tea. So it's hard to beat pistachios, right, as far as health benefits for a snack. But I like these spicy pumpkin uh, <coughs> seeds also. Now, um, grains, as I've talked about before, grains are something that are going to make you produce more insulin, and then the more refined the grains, the more insulin they're going to make you produce and the fatter you're going to get. So anything that says enriched white flour, right, I mean, that's poison. Right? So definitely leave those things on the shelf. Or if it says, um, you know, just white flour, or if it says semolina flour, that's what you'll see on the, on the pasta label, right, is that semolina, semolina uh, wheat. Stay away from those things. <clears throat> now, if you have to have grains, you know, get these dark grains. So like this is this jovial, it's, uh, it's this uh, dinkhorn pasta that's a very you know, old grain, but it's 100% organic whole grain. And, uh, and use those. They have brown rice pasta, right? Um, uh, the, uh, the buckwheat pasta is another good one. So if you do pasta, again, do these whole grains. Mm -hmm. Same thing with rice. Again, that regular refined white rice that's going to make you fat, right? Get the black rice, right? And you can cook up a big batch at a time, right? Because this does take a little longer to cook. It's not Uncle Ben's instant, <laughs> right? 30, 30 second rice that they stick in the microwave. So you have to cook this for about um, you know, 15, 20 minutes. But really good, really hearty, very high fiber. And again, anything that's really dark like this is going to have lots of those antifungals that level of fungus down in your body, right? And of course, that's the other hormones that make you fat, those ones that come from the inflammatory response. 
And if you build up lots of yeast, then you're, you're gonna turn on your immune system, it's gonna produce those growth factors, and that's gonna put it on right here. And with your condiments, right, <coughs> choose things that, again, don't have sugar. There's lots of, if you read the fine print on a lot of those um, seasonings, right, they've got sugar in them, right? Ketchup, right, sugar. A lot of the other sauces, sugar, right? The high fructose corn syrup, that's what they'll be loaded with. So, you know, you can use mustard to make other things. Uh, you can mix it with this, this Bragg's liquid aminos. This Bragg's liquid aminos, it gives food a savory taste, right? And so you use this instead of using the salt, right? Bragg's liquid aminos. And just um, uh, on your salads, on your soups, right? Even on meat, whatever, right? You just put this on, it gives it a very, very good, good taste. Particularly really good for soups. Uh, the um, uh, those hot sauces like the uh, Chinese use, those are really good also to give your food a, a spicy taste. <clears throat> but again, read the labels and stay away from the sugar, right? Hot fructose corn syrup in your seasonings and your condiments. Because you can have lots and lots of calories, you know, just pouring on the ketchup, right? Do they have ketchup without sugar? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You go to um, natural grocers, <coughs> natural grocers, or even at Drug Emporium, I saw some yesterday, right? And I am, uh, I'm just discovering about Drug Emporium. Um, their prices on a lot of things are a lot cheaper. I, I, I guess they do that because they buy in such big bulk. But I was really noticing when I was- But you can't use a credit card. Though. But you can't yeah. use a credit card. You have to use debit or check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of, these bonitos, which I've grown fond of, you know, these are a totally black bean chip. There's no corn in them. So now most of the chips out there, they're made from this genetically modified corn. And, uh, and just corn in general is a grain that makes you fat. I mean, that's why we feed it to cattle, right? Because it makes them gain fat very quickly. Uh, the bonitos are completely <coughs> black bean, right? They have a little bit of uh, brown rice in them also, uh, but mostly black bean, uh, but no potato, no corn. And um, they <coughs> are a bit cheaper over at Drug Emporium. Right? These are $1.49 $1 over at Drug Emporium. I think most places are about three bucks or to do something. Uh, <clears throat> so, nachos with these, I mean, just excellent. Mm -hmm. Just throw you some jalapenos. The in the valley black beans, yes. Yeah. Yeah, black beans are, are, again, way at the top of the list as far as nutritional density for a food, right? With the antifungals and the fiber, right? And low fat and that type of thing. I mean, these have no um, trans fat in them, very little saturated fat. Um, they're very high in fiber, five grams of fiber per serving, which is really high, and very low sodium. Yeah. Pick up the guy would be fine, right? Sorry? Pick up, <clears throat> pick up the guy with just tomatoes. And yeah, everything. yeah, pick up the guy is fine. Again. And this real good with black beans. Yes, yeah. Yeah. or the salsa, right? And they have the, they have the salsa over there, that, the, that Tescosa brand salsa. They have that a little cheaper also. And uh, that one is lower in sodium than a lot of it, like paste. Uh, and so many of the other ones are very high in sodium. Right? Salt is something else that you want to really get down in your, in your food. Uh, beverages, of course, um, green, or rather, either green or white tea. Now, as far as nutritional benefits for tea, it goes white and then green and then black. So white is the most unrefined, right? So the, as the uh, leaves come off the tree and no refining at all, that makes the white tea, right? So that's the most pure. And then with a little more refining, there is the green tea, and then the most heavily refined is the black, right? So get the white or the, uh, or the green. And this white over at uh, Natural <coughs> Grocers, this was, uh, I think, a dollar something for 100 bags, right? Which is, I mean, that's a pretty good bargain. Anyway, so make tea. <coughs> I mentioned the, the coconut milk, right? And, and you do want to get the, just the full fat, right, coconut milk, because this fat that's in coconut milk is actually an antifungal. The reason that the plant makes it is to keep itself away from, keep uh, fungus away. So, uh, so <coughs> use this, you know, I put it in my coffee, I make a smoothie out of it. You, know, you can use it in, in other recipes, you know, where it requires a thickening agent, right? Um, what else? So you can make a beverage out of them. You can, now, they have just the coconut milk in the cartons, right, that you can use as a beverage. 
Uh, but you can take this also, you know, thin it with water, right, and make a beverage from it. I mean, coconut milk is just an excellent drink for you, particularly for athletes, right, recovery drink. The uh, uh, oils, so cooking oils, you'll want to use extra virgin olive oil. You can use coconut oil, right, to cook with. Um, but none of those, again, the trans fat oils, again, because they make your membranes hard. Now, the coconut oil is also excellent for your skin, right? Um, I mean, just as a cosmetic, or, you know, after your shower, you know, put on a, as a lubricant, like you would lotion, right, put coconut oil, really good for the soles of the feet, right, and keep the uh, hands from cracking and that type of thing. What about black tea oil? <clears throat> Get the flax seed, right? So flaxseed oil, very good for you, but the flax seed itself is better. You'll need to get you a little coffee grinder and, you know, put a, um, uh, like a quarter cup into the coffee grinder, uh, grind that up. And then if you mix that with some yogurt, right? And we got, have a guy here that has a dairy down in Al Abernathy that is delivering fresh yogurt, but this Greek style yogurt, um, Greek gods yogurt that is, again, either natural grocery or Drug Emporium has it also. I didn't check whether their price was a lot cheaper, but, but they have it. But to mix these, that's another really good breakfast, is to mix this flaxseed with the, uh, uh, this Greek god yogurt. And this is another thing that really improves your skin, <clears throat> right? This flaxseed, you know, that oil is in the flaxseed. And this is also very high in fiber. And so you know, anything that uh, gives us more fiber, that, that's good also. It has like six grams of fiber per, uh, per serving. Now we use this, uh, there are a lot of protocols that use this um, combination in when we're treating cancer, all right? So <coughs> it'd be a great preventative for you. So this is something that you should, I mean, I think definitely everybody should put into their regimen on a regular basis just as a preventative, right? Is that yogurt? Flavored or is it just great? I mean, just they like have a plain. This is a um, uh, honey vanilla, oh. uh, which but it's not real high in uh, uh, carbohydrates, but it's very high in potassium. That's another thing to look for on labels is the potassium sodium ratio. So you want higher levels of potassium than you do sodium. So if you see a, a food that has a much higher level of potassium than sodium, that's that's a very good food. Right? So that's normally. You know, if you look at plants and animals and so forth, right in the in the wild, they have very high levels of potassium, right, and low sodium. But most of the things that you find on the shelf is the opposite. They're very high in sodium and either low or zero potassium, right? And then the other thing on beverages, I encourage everybody to get one of these soda stream machines. You can get them at Bed Bath & Beyond. That allows you to make your own sodas. And you know, it's a machine and it has a CO2 cartridge in it and you just uh, charge the CO2 into the carbonation into this bottle and it holds uh, uh, the carbonation. <clears throat> and then you can just you know, pick out your own flavor. So I put this uh, pomegranate concentrate, right, that you can get. You know, you put uh, maybe a couple of tablespoons of this pomegranate concentrate in there. The, when you get your machine, they will have some flavors in there. That, uh, that you can use, you don't have any sugar or anything, but they also will have some in there that have the artificial sweeteners, throw those out, right? But they have these uh, other ones that are just the essence flavors, and you just put a couple of drops, you know, in a, a bottle of this size, and so that, that's very economical. And they have pomegranate vodka. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of, no, they do have pomegranate wine, right? and I do recommend that. And so if, uh, at Party Stop, they've got the pomegranate wine, so the pomegranate is extremely healthy berry for you, pomegranate and cranberry. Now, the benefit, uh, of course, we saw this with when we started looking at the French and how low their risk of heart attacks and so forth were, even though they ate all this high-fat food. And we found out the reason was you know, they were drinking lots of red wine. Well, red wine, of course, has the skin from those grapes in it, right? And the skin of those grapes has the antifungals because the grape is trying to protect that sugar from the fungus, right? So 
So it puts those antifungals on the skin. That's what plants do. They'll even either have a shell or they'll have, again, something that kills fungus in their skin, which is why it's so important to eat the skin of these dark berries. <clears throat> so it has that. And then when you add the alcohol, so if you notice, if you start going to the supermarket and looking at a lot of things like mouthwash, right, you'll see it's very high in alcohol. Why would they put all that alcohol in there, right? Or if you go... Uh, you know, over to West Texas or anywhere, you know, where they have the, uh, the tinctures and so forth, uh, or the homeopathics, they'll have alcohol, right? Why is alcohol in there? Well, the reason is because alcohol is such an excellent delivery agent. So whatever you put into alcohol, right, it gets absorbed better into your system. So drinking the red wine makes that antifungal or resveratrol that's in the grapes absorb better. And so and it'll do the same thing with the pomegranates. And the pomegranates are even more uh, potent as far as health goes than the grapes, right? The pomegranates and the cranberry. So the pomegranate or cranberry wine, just think of it as medicine, right? 